Um, like I said, I'm Daniel Zadejas and I lead the career integration effort in Houston. I also support uh, other cities too. Um, so uh, one thing I do wanna point out, I see some of y'all asking questions in the chat. Please keep doing that. Bonnie is answering questions as they come up and, sh and she can. Um, and then we are gonna have time after my little presentation here for some more questions. So let me tell you about career integration. Um, career integration is a little bit different from the other two components. Match helps our high school students, persistence helps our alumni after graduation from high school. Career integration is helping all of our KIPP students that are getting the match support services and that are getting the persistent support services. Um, in high school, it looks like this. Um, we do career assessments. Every junior gets used the U Science Aptitude and Interest Assessment, which helps us figure out what types of careers match with our interests. One of the things we found, and let me go back a step, career integration was introduced to the KIPP model because we were finding that whereas students were getting to college, completing college, they weren't necessarily landing in those majors or choosing those majors and careers that were making them competitive. So when we looked at how employable they were in the past, our students that were graduating from great colleges and universities and finishing great programs were performing under the national averages for employment. Now that we have career integration in place, my job and the other folks doing this work and my partners in Match and Persistence is to elevate our students to identify those positions that highlight their strengths and interests and that are gonna be in areas that are growing, high performing, have pathways to increase wages and sustainability and match the things they wanna do that frankly, like looking forward into the future, it's all this new technology and stuff that our kids love and know and my job is just to guide them there. So we use you science to help them discover things they might not know about, right? They might come to us and say they want to be a nurse and I'll tell them, well, here are 48 different classifications of nurse. Let's try to dive deeper into which ones you might want to explore so that you have options. We also build assets for careers, including building an initial resume, looking at um, interview skills. We do career exploration using virtual and live platforms. Um, and then I also talk about labor market information. We talk about economics. How much does this job pay? Is it gonna be here in four years when you finish your post-secondary journey? Um, or is it declining? And we need to look at some related options that are gonna get you to some competitive um, workplaces. We want our kids at the forefront of what's happening in the workplace, right? We don't want them chasing old jobs. We want them in the new jobs that are gonna be hot and needed. Um, we do field trips and experiences. Um, we're gonna have a student talk in a little bit that talks about one big experience I took some kids on. So that'll be uh, interesting. And then at the end of my presentation, I'll tell you about some of the things we do throughout the state. Um, this is important. College is important to us. Post-secondary is important and it can look a lot of different ways now. Um, as Roy mentioned, some of our kids do four years, some do two year. We have some kids that join the military. Whatever journey you choose, we wanna make sure you're best matched to it and that you're choosing the best career pathway within that journey, right? Um, and so I partner with our match team and our persistence team to take college visits that look at these hot career fields, right? We don't want those to exist. Um, in the summer, Stephanie mentioned, we help get our kids into summer of learning programs. I do that as well. They're all career related when I do it. And then I also uh, started a paid internship program for our high school students that we're stretching out to the other parts of the state as well. And then finally, we do one-on-one -on -one career counseling. If you have no idea what you wanna do, you've taken your assessment, we help you figure out what some good matches are for you to explore. And then for our alumni, I think someone is off mute because I'm getting an echo. I don't know if you can mute the room, Bonnie. Um, thank you. We have internships. We have a Grow Your Own program I'll talk about later. That's also paid for our alumni. Um, it is competitive and selective. I do career readiness as they're preparing to enter that post-secondary workforce. Um, we look at job skills and training. 
uh, and counseling. I personally will give a student that's a senior in college a mock interview um, and make them practice repeatedly so that uh, we get really good at doing panel interviews and phone interviews and things like that. So um, I know my counterparts in other cities do the same thing. Um, like I said, we'll talk about some more details of some of these in a little bit. And I see some questions coming in, thanks. Um, after we finish, um, there's a video and I'll talk about some of the programming. We'll have Q&A and I'll be happy to answer those. Please keep them coming. I'm not ignoring them. I just wanna make sure we stay on task. So what I wanna show you now is one of my students, our students, my students, um, Leslie Oviedo, who graduated last year, class of 2020, from KIPP Northeast College Preparatory. Leslie was an officer in the Accenture Business Scholars Club I started. She introduced um, with her other all women officers cabinet, um, a very aggressive recruiting strategy and they built their club from no members to 42 members. Um, they also went on to win the um, commercial real estate women's organization business case competition. Her team specifically won the business case competition that Accenture um, puts on. And you'll see where she ended up um, now that she's in college. So let's play Leslie's video. And she was really nervous, so she made notes. And I didn't make her say anything, you'll see. All right, Bonnie. Hello, my name is Leslie Oviedo. Um, I attended Kip Northeast College Preparatory Class of 2020, and I am currently a first year policy scholar at the University of Virginia, majoring in commerce and psychology. And now I can assure you that without the KCT team or Kip in general, I definitely would not be here where I am right now. Um, you know, they I can name a lot of things that the Kip staff did in order to prepare me for college. I landed multiple internships, I attended summer programs, flying programs, I was in multiple clubs. And while all of this really did help me build up my student portfolio, my resume, the most impactful and important thing that the KCT team um, did for me was help me build up my confidence and become someone that I wanted to become. You know, I was never the most confident student in high school, but the KCT team definitely saw something in me that at the time I could not see. Um, a perfect example of this that I always think of was during one of our flying programs at Ohio State University when the KIPP Director of Career Integration, Mr. Zendek, has kept bugging me to apply to the institution. And, you know, I kept telling him, no, like, I wouldn't be considered, I wouldn't be accepted, etc. He, with no hesitation, kept telling me, like, I know you can. Um, so fast forward, I did end up applying and I did end up being accepted. And I even received a scholarship from them. and. Um, even though I didn't attend, it felt so good knowing that I was more capable of what I thought I was and that somebody else uh, saw that. You know, um, additionally, they were also the ones who nominated me for the Posse Foundation Scholarship and they helped me prepare for the interviews. They stayed with me after school many, many days to review my essays and they even drove me to my interviews when my parents um, couldn't take me. And even right now, despite me being in a completely different state, they continue to send me opportunities and additional scholarships to help me further succeed. Yeah, she's one of my favorite people. I've Hello, my name is Leslie. Um, um, I keep... There we go. All right. Um, she mentioned a couple of things that I want to talk about. She mentioned a trip that I organized um, that was a college and career experience to Ohio State University. We had kids that, uh, we have a pocket of kids that were aligning with the aviation industry. And Ohio State has an aviation program that reaches into their engineering and business schools. And they have an operational airport on campus. So I had kids apply and I took 15 of our, at that, that time it was juniors and seniors to Ohio State to look at the program. Of that group that I took, Eight of them applied and seven of them actually got into Ohio State, which is a highly competitive school. And Leslie was one of those students. So that's the trip she was talking about. Also, I wanna point out that a part of that trip, we're not just trying to get you to college, that's a goal, but we're trying to increase our students' cultural capital and experience so that they can be more competitive in the world. So of the kids I took on that trip, 
13 of them, that was the first time they'd flown in a plane, which made me nervous because I, I literally had their lives in my hands flying across the country. But we had a great time. We learned about airplanes. We learned about that industry. And you can see it impacted Leslie um, and that she actually did major in a business related field because she found her strength there. So the other thing I want to point out, actually, I'm going to hand over to Bonnie. She mentions that she's a Posse scholar. So Bonnie, can you give us a little bit of clarity on that? Sure. Um, Posse is an amazing scholarship program that offers students full tuition for four years. It's highly selective um, and it's only based in certain cities. So Houston has a Posse program, but unfortunately San Antonio, Austin and Dallas do not yet. Uh, we're hoping for that in the future. Uh, basically Posse partners with certain universities, including the University of Virginia where Leslie is studying and through a long and rigorous application process and interview process, the students are selected to be part of a team or a posse of 10 to 12 students that are all from their same hometown, um, all similar students, and they are able to work together to support each other through college. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity. Each year we usually have between we usually have out of 30 nominations, anywhere between five to seven students selected for these posses or the finalist phase of the posse scholarship. So it is something that's very close to our hearts. And we've had some amazing students that are on amazing journeys at their highly selective colleges. Thanks, Bonnie. And a little point of pride for me is of all the posse scholars we had last year, only one was not in our business club. So. I get some credit to them practicing their introduction and interviewing skills in the business club for being a good candidate for scholarships like these. So um, there you go. Really proud of those kids, really proud of Leslie. Uh, it's an example of the work we do with our career kids. Here's some more. Um, one of our alumni programs, last year we were able to have the entire state participate in an internship program for alumni. This year it's a little scaled down um, due to the pandemic and other things, but we're not letting it go. Um, our college age alumni, alumni that are currently enrolled in a two or four year institution qualify. They work in paid internships in KIPP departments. Um, last year, Bonnie and I both had an intern um, and that was a whole lot of fun working with our students again. Uh, we have extensive professional development and mentoring as part of it. And recognizing, again, we're always trying to be forward thinking. We pay them $15 an hour, no less, because that's where we need to go in terms of competitive wage. Um, another thing that some of our students get to go through, this is generally targeted at seniors during their first semester. Um, we have a bridge year career test drive. Bridge year is an organization that provides hands-on career demonstration lessons where kids get to do things like, a um, couple of weeks ago, I had one where our kids were experiencing a job demonstration for the electrician profession. And they had to put together a simple circuit and a complex circuit to um, turn a light bulb on, which was much harder than I thought it would be. Like I did not succeed the first time, our students did. That's why I led them to that success um, and I just guide, but they do things like that. In one of our previous pictures, we had some kids doing medical laboratory work we want them to experience things so that they can decide, do I like this or do I not? Part of the career journey is moving outside of what's familiar and learning some more options. And also it's okay to decide you don't like something because that helps get it off of your potential um, list of options. A couple more examples. I think we have, a... there we go. In Austin, um, a year and a half ago, we started an apprenticeship program with Austin Coding Academy and a nonprofit called Codigo, which is founded by one of our KIPP alumni. Um, and it was a one year apprenticeship learning computer language to program an interactive website. That's about as far as I can take us in understanding what those kids did. Um, and actually, next week, we're doing our end of um, apprenticeship celebration where they're going to demonstrate their um, projects to partners such as Oracle and Dell in Austin. And then the kids don't know this, but they're all getting an end of program and an apprenticeship 
uh, reward of a Microsoft Surface tablet to continue coding. I know for sure two of our students have already gotten into their first choice college. One is going to University of Texas at Austin and another one just got into Stanford in California. So we're super, super excited about this. And again, this experience elevates that college application and resume to show that they're forward thinking and competitive with their counterparts going to schools that might be better resourced, but they don't have our brain power. So there you go. Um, the last thing I'll point out, I mentioned the Business Scholars Club a lot. Um, Accenture is one of our corporate partners, just like we have college partners, we have business partners. And I'm developing this list every single day. I was just on a call with one of our business partners this morning. Accenture gives us money to host a business club. We host a summer business case competition where our students live on campus for about three days and try to solve a business problem, right? Um, over the last year, we actually introduced this business case competition to the entire state. Last year, our winners still came from Houston, but second and third place were from Austin. So they're coming to get us. I know the kids love the competition. We have regular meetings. We go on office field trips. So they can learn about the industry. And like I said, we have that competition. So that's just a sample of the work we do. It's not everything for sure, but it's definitely framed to elevate this work we do in trying to get our kids to and through college and their post-secondary journeys.